Grossly violating sections 12 and 24 of the public officer ethics act, and grossly violating section 16 and 35 of the leadership and integrity act, engaged in gross misconduct and engaged in gross service of office by directing the male teaching and deferral hospital to spend all revenue and source, whereas all money raised as or received on by or on behalf of the county should be paid into the county revenue fund. Issuing of waivers on fees at the male teaching and referral hospital will ask the county executive committee member for finance is the only person legally, only person legally empowered to grant such waivers and directing county government officers to participate in furthering and advancing the interests of either TV, a media station owned by Mongaza Advertiser Limited, a private company owned by the governor through a gross relatives as proxies. Evidence of the governor's gross violation of articles 2, 1, and 27 of the Constitution, of the Constitution and the gross violation of the sec or sections 109 to 159 of the Public Finance Management Act of the gross violation of sections 12, 24 of the Public Office Ethics Act, and gross violation of section 16 and 35 of the Leadership and Integrity Act, gross misconduct and gross abuse of office, as said in the video saved as on the page in the first day uh, in my classroom, a transcription. Of the video is attached as an exception in the affidavit supporting this motion. Further evidence is in the Elvis and Uncorruption Commission letter dated the 19th of October 2022, and the document as, uh, is attached as an exception B and an exception C to the affidavit supporting this motion. This motion. The court charge. Yeah, Misconduct. Relating to the nomination of CECs. On or around the 18th November 2022, the governor engaged in gross misconduct, grossly violated articles, articles 10, 73, and 75 of the Constitution, grossly violated articles 10, 1 of the public appointment, county assemblies approval 2017, and annex 19A, and annex 20A in support of affidavit, in support of this motion, dated in May this 20. Twenty first day of November twenty twenty two. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That is the notice of the proposed nation for the impeachment of the governor of Mayo County. I beg now to lay before this assembly the notice of motion together with the flash drive containing all the evidence. Uh, Mr. Speaker, and I would like uh, to invite uh, the Honorable Member for Creation, Mr. Speaker, to second the proposed motion. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I would beg. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. Thank you, Mr. Kandu and Andre. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I am a good year in case of order for the motion. Uh, that can take the next item. Then, then, the seven statements. Uh, can you take the next one that up? Then, then, number eight, motions and bills. Uh, I am a member. Uh, before we take the next item, I want us to go back to order number two, that is communication from the chair. And the uh, other letters, uh, uh, we will find that uh, we have uh, students from uh, to the Canal District of the School and uh, the Canal uh, that, uh, that is in South Vigente. Uh, can you see them? Uh, uh, the students have a seat. Uh, this, is, this is a visit. By the canal of this of the school, the assembly has been notified that the canal of this of the school is basically to the county assembly on Tuesday, the 2nd November 2022 at 10 p.m. We are a group of 35 students and uh, we are happening by the teachers. The uh, canal has half seat in the assembly of the school that is in South Vigente. Uh, your county, in particular, that is Abogeta, and uh, I welcome uh, 
the students uh, in the Nagari Secondary School this assembly. Uh, this is uh, uh, the, the, the Parliament of Meru of the New Country Assembly. And at this juncture, I wish to give at least a brief to from members uh, 50 minutes to welcome the students and also to give them uh, some months of encouragement because they are the future leaders. Thank you, members. Anybody wishing to give a comment or to appreciate students that can speak as well? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, I take this opportunity to welcome my school. I come from uh, Abogeda, Iswa, and for the purposes of records, I'm a Duranera representing Abogeda East uh, resident. I take this uh, opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to thank the administration of my school in my work, and then by a uh, principal and their teacher concerned. As part of the uh, ongoing process of encouraging our students across the county, I want to encourage them that uh, they should study hard, considering where we are coming from. A political is based on the lower side of the Meru County, part of it bordering uh, the Kanuri County, and part of the uh, Iberian East from the left. And I want to encourage my students by telling them that when they are here in this uh, assembly of Meru, they are most welcome and they must learn from us and especially from me that anybody can become a leader and I encourage them to work hard in their studies and they are prepared, especially now they are putting the end of the term and the year exams. I also think this opportunity to wish them success in their exams because I understand the exams are around the corner despite the fact that this year uh, for the time I've been their MCA I've not been able to work at the bursaries because I know the school has needed cases but we've been trying day and night to see whether we can have the breakthrough but I promise the institution that in near future you will be getting your bursaries in due time because time will change. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, and thanks and God bless you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Sinwari. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Mr. Sinwari, uh, you are more closer to it, those young boys. Uh, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for the purposes of reference. My name is uh, Terinia Mwanda Benson, uh, representing youths. Uh, especially veterans and families are important. But uh, I want to firstly thank uh, Ms. Mohan uh, for taking up this step of um, you know, looking for the space for the students from the world to come and learn uh, uh, what happens in this last house. And uh, secondly, I want to welcome the students and the teachers accompanying them. As a young person, I'm always uh, so much excited to see young people who are willing to learn, who are willing, uh, who are willing you know, to take up um, uh, leadership roles, because now these are the leaders that uh, will shape uh, our community going forward. And uh, they have come in such a, a great day. Uh, they have come to this house in a historic day uh, where we are, you know, this house is uh, being one of the, its greatest marks. So, students, feel much welcome. I want to encourage you as a young person that it is possible uh, that you become members of county assemblies in the future, you will become senators in the future, you will become members of parliament in the future, you will become great people because this county needs leaders like you. So learn from this house, learn to you know uh, represent your country very well, learn to represent your community where you come from very well, and it 
is possible. Nowadays, should do anything because you are a young person. And I want to wish you all the best in uh, uh, for those who are doing exams uh, and even the rest of the students. I want to take this opportunity to wish them uh, success in the KCC and the KCP. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honor Dorinia. I don't judge an hour. Allow me to uh, give a chance to my students and I will just like to meet you. And there are those young men that also the teacher and the students are sitting in the same assembly. Welcome. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For the purpose of records, I'm going to ask you a moment this much. We present the people from the peace. As the speaker said, I have now a great privilege to be the assembly. Sitting together with my teacher, the honor one to go with my speaker today. I'm also privileged to have a student in this house, Mr. Speaker. Never for a class one of my students some time ago. I am speaking six years. Again, in this assembly, I have two members of staff who are very with my students as well. So I can say I cannot be little of what education can do in this life. Having been a person who has lived uh, in the poverty in a school, and knowing what education can do, I will carry this young to all that is doable, it is possible, and whatever they aspire in life, they shall get it in the time. Mr. Speaker, I welcome you to them so much, and I encourage them to be positive in life, because every day, every day they wish, one day it shall come to pass. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Honorable Justice Honorable Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I also want to take this opportunity to welcome the students. And uh, I want to uh, start by thanking uh, the principal for the International Day, who happens to be a colleague of mine, and I'm glad for this great opportunity for the students. And I would also want to say, Mr. Speaker, uh, as I encourage these young students, who I believe are coming because they are history students, having taught history and government in high school, I think uh, the students have learned uh, mainly the, the, about the, the county government, and especially about the two arms of the government, that is the county executive, and the county assembly. I also want to note, Mr. Speaker, that uh, just like you, I also have a member seated in this assembly that I taught history and government in high school, Honorable Frida Naito, and I want to encourage the young students that they can also sit here like Honorable uh, Frida. I also want uh, to say, Mr. Speaker, that as Honorable Muna said, education can make them what they don't know. And I want to note that uh, as a teacher of history, Mr. Speaker, uh, history and government makes the best lawyers. So I want to encourage them because they can also become uh, very, very good lawyers of this country. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. You, you, you are refused to acknowledge that you are going to so I will acknowledge the principal of the canal that we are principals at the same time. And I will acknowledge also, I thought, Eastern government. I will acknowledge the Abraham Award. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Jim. Thank you. Uh,
can help you when they get back from moving to this town, the party. And where else was the cousin that was uh, missing the entire And other and other elites. So what is the speaker? I really uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mashina G. As I close on this side, uh, one of the time, two minutes, two minutes each. Mr. Speaker, on the front, uh, I am Carlos Derekipuko, presenting the great speaker of municipality. And being a youth mentor, I feel a mandate to also speak to and welcome uh, our students who are visiting us today. And Mr. Speaker, one, uh, someone once said that the greatest thing about education is that there is no one who can take it away from you. Mr. Speaker, what is happening today is to encourage our young people to join the tender for young and take advantage of uh, education because uh, the moment they learn, no one will keep away from them. And as I finish, someone once said, Mr. Speaker, that success has many partners, that failure is an offer. Help these young people realize that uh, they can achieve anything they have and they will have many people. Uh, celebrating them once they achieve. This honorable house today, we are celebrating because uh, God gave us that opportunity. And the opportunity that we have, they can also have it so they can dream and uh, achieve their dreams. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you, Honorable uh, 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 Panel. Uh, as I could do this right now, the matter of the country. Thank you.
Ilikuwa mwezi sika nikisema kwamba Mungu ana moja alisimama kindeke na kamuliza ulikuwa na upati na hasra ambayo ilikuwa imerejelea ama ilikuwa katika jambo gani akaoneka katika kitabu cha mkono ina kiwazi na kiwazi huyu yuhai amekufa akauliza baadhi ya wachache wenza kumwambia amekufa wengine wakamwambia yuko hai lakini mwisho wa siku na ile somo akamwambia kwamba maisha haya ya kiwazi huyu yana katika mikono ama vile vigani wanafunzi ningependa kuwapatia changamoto kwa chenu kisichoe mchana kidaratenu kisioze kwa sababu ukiangalia wale wale walio katika jumba hili nyinyi mna bahati na pia mna uwezo wa kwenda nenda za juu zaidi kuliko hata vile tulivyo hapo nilikuwa sana ningependa kuambia kwamba mnapokaribia kufanya mtihani wenu wa mwisho ndio kwamba maisha yenu ile kiwavi na kwa sababu ya jamii yenu na kule nje kuna dunia ni mtimeno ambao ukatembea na nyuma na mzo mwingine ambaye yuko sikizalia akasema kwamba dunia mkavu kiungo usiwegeni ukienda kule nje jamani ndio kwamba muweze kupata wale ambao wako na kuwapatia maono ya ruya ya ibra ili hadi siwa na kwa wale kuwapotosha mtambulia kufika mheshimiwa speaker asante sana mpatie nafasi ah nje kwa mheshimiwa mimi ah Nasimia Duke. Ndani ya safari 
na naomba hata yale ambayo yanaibu masuala hii bado kwa sababu zipo endelevu kuweza kwa sababu unaweza kubadilisha nafsi ya kuwa mwalimu unakuwa hatuni kesho unakuwa daktari kuna matumaini mbele bibi washukuru sana mwalimu kwa sababu ya kugundulia na kupenda wanafunzi wao ili wao hata zaidi yao na mwisho niseme kwamba sisi kama wadogo wa kaunti tuwe ni mfano mema kwa sababu ya hao wanafunzi ambao wako wetu ili kesho yao inaye atakutishida asante kwa sikitu Ah, thank you. Thank you, my dear. On our national program for Maura, and then we will conclude uh, in the honor of the very lovely Maura. Ah, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, first of all, to welcome the students and also to congratulate them. I'm glad that we have many, many pictures here. This is an agenda for the pictures. Obviously, it is a right to submit it. But those who are not going to teach us, we are going to bring it to the students. And that's what I just told the running. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, as much as you have our uh, students here, I want to encourage them. I'm having the, the Sun School teacher, and also the Philip teach in our church. I want to tell them to refer them to the book of for us, where you read a lot of what to do, and you know this place, you can see the, the verse that it's a verse that says, Go first, listen to your mother's advice, and the sons, listen to your father's advice, so that when you go, you never run astray. It's also in the second Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, which says that many people will come to teach you what to choose which is the best for you. And your future will be better. So I want to encourage them and tell them that this one was a lot of more to And no one will be progressing that steps each and every day. But it's upon them to choose which is best, to learn from media. There are a lot of things which they can choose and which they can be right. So the life is upon them to make their life better and even to make them uh, 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 so I want to encourage them and tell them to be happy, enjoy life, go up when your uh, eyes are looking forward, never be intimidated, learn to serve and even to deliver uh, to your family, community and society as much as uh, you are being black folks. Today is an historical day and I'll mark it in part of it. And as much as you live, I'll remember this day. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Mr. Kandana. Kandana, I will remind you. Two minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, for giving me the opportunity to join my fellow honorable members to welcome uh, the students of the Kandana of the Secondary School. Uh, for purposes of record, my name is Aurelio Mrangeli Kiramana. Every curl has its own way. New curl expression. Express your curls the pro way. Well, many thanks for staying with Citizen TV on this uh, outdoor edition of Newsnight. Now, my next guest is the CEO of uh, Brickhouse Council. Aniala nominee, and also the daughter of Azimio leader, Raila Odinga. Winnie Odinga, many thanks for joining us. Thank you so time. much, Raila. Nice to meet you. Thank you for making time. And uh, of course, when you come from a, a family as high profile as yours, I, I get the sense one has to fight for their own identity. So I want to begin by asking you this evening, who is Winnie Odinga? Winnie Odinga is uh, many things. I think we're all not just one thing. Um, I am a student, I'm a daughter, I'm an auntie, I'm a communicator, I'm an African, I'm, I'm many things and more. It's quite heavy. And of course, a family that's known to be, you know, a big name on the political scene. We didn't know much about you previously. Actually, we knew a lot more about your sister. Uh, do you have, would you say you have political ambitions? I believe by nature, um, every child of a politician would have thoughts or things like that. 
Um, I also believe I should ask you, your, your father ran for president just like mine, so you tell me how it feels and what you're doing with it. I was hoping you'd ask me that. That's a very no, no, interesting. See, so now we're, yeah. Oh, that's a very interesting. That's where we are to now. We're the same. It. Yeah. And I ask you this because in a previous interview, you you talked about your dad and you giving him advice on the campaign trail. Yes. What, what would you say your role was in the just concluded elections? Um, I, well, I worked in the secretariat. Um, I worked in uh, logistics uh, and uh, communications. Uh, operations, sorry, not logistics, communications and operations, uh, making sure that the campaign, as it was concerned with the candidate, ran smoothly. We had uh, t-shirts out on time, messaging, involving the youth, uh, different aspects of the campaign. Uh, it's not my first presidential campaign. I've worked on five on the continent. Uh, I've worked in Tanzania, uh, Zimbabwe, DRC, um, here, of course, too. So it, it's something I enjoy, something I, I, I've learned over the years. Um, it's something I'm quite passionate about. From an insider's perspective, what worked and what did not work? Everything worked. The campaign was successful. Some see differently, especially supporters of, of Azimio. Well, mm -hmm. there's a difference between the campaign and the election day. Mm -hmm. The campaign was absolutely successful. Um, the election day um, is not a question for me <laughs> to answer. Who is it a question for? Uh, Chebukachi, perhaps. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it's not me, it's not Winnie Odinga. <laughs> uh, and I was hoping that you know, you'd, you'd be able to shed more light.